Hi everyone, today we are going to be talking about those spring beauty must-haves, those essential products that just make me feel just ready for the spring and also for the summer as well because not only are these products suitable for use during the spring months, I mean they're suitable all year round, but they're perfect during spring, they're also great to transition into the summer months as well. In fact, a lot of these are getting my skin, my body ready for the summer months when it's going to take a little bit more hammer, I'm hopefully going on holiday for a little while with my family and wanting to feel really good about myself and uh, a lot of these products will help. If you're new here, hi, my name's Gemma. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, I would love it if you do that in this video today. Also, please hit the like button and the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. So I don't know about you, but I don't feel ready to face the world unless I'm wearing a fragrance. It feels really strange to me if I leave the house without it, as if I'm leaving the house without shoes on or something. I am loving fragrance. I am loving having different fragrances to suit different seasons and this next one is my newest purchase. In fact, it's so new it actually hasn't arrived yet. I've been testing out this fragrance over the last few weeks, which I think you have to do with a fragrance. You have to keep going into the department stores, having a spritz, making sure it sits and settles really well on your skin, making sure that it just evolves throughout the day, and also making sure that you can still smell it, because when you're spending a lot of money on a fragrance, you don't want it to disappear within an hour and then you're having to spritz it again because, you know, who does that? Not me. So I know I'm going to get the name of this fragrance house wrong, so please correct me in the comments section. I have no idea why I'm asking you to do that because I know you will anyway. This is from Maison Francis Curjean Paris and it is the A La Rose Eau de Parfum. Now, this is not their signature fragrance that everybody talks about. I don't like going for those sorts of fragrances when you go out and you meet lots of people and people can pinpoint what you're wearing. That doesn't sit well with me. I also don't like to smell like everybody else. I like to be a little bit original and this is the perfect fragrance for spring. This is not my usual go-to. Usually I like people to smell me before I walk in the door. I like a heavy fragrance. However, this is so feminine. It is so delicate. It's got a light, fizzy, sparkling edge to it. It's zesty and yet it is floral. It is incredibly delicate on my skin and I just feel what is the word? I feel very elegant in this fragrance and it just uplifts me and transports me to another place, which is a sign of a great fragrance. Not only is this girly yet sophisticated, the rose notes that are in this fragrance are realistic rose notes. They're not those powdery rose notes that you can sometimes get from other fragrances. I just think this is so stunning. So as soon as you apply this fragrance, you get that straight away hit of zestiness. This is very, very uplifting. Over time, this evolves to become more floral and more floral and it's, oh, it's just utter perfection. So the top notes in here are Calabrian bergamot, you've then got California orange, middle notes of Bulgarian rose, then you've got Grasse rose, is that how you pronounce it? Not quite sure. Grass rose, grass rose. Then you've got violet and magnolia and then base notes of musk and cedar. It is just divine. If I could drink this perfume, I would. <laughs> but it's expensive, so I am not going to. I will just continue to spritz and I am so excited for this to arrive. I can't tell you, I am just waiting on the edge of my seat. In spring, I like to have a nice light tan and that can be often really difficult to achieve because a lot of products, they only cater for a medium tan or a deep tan, a light tan, very, very difficult. And if you know me, then you will know that I do not step outside without plastering my skin from head to toe in SPF. I also, in sunny weather, wear a hat, sunglasses, 
umbrella. <laughs> I do not like sun damage, but I do love a bronzy glow. And that's where this new product from Charlotte Tilbury comes in, which is the most success that I have had out of customizable tanning drops in my life. Most customizable tanning drops send me a lovely shade of Satsuma which is not the look that I'm going for. These are bronzy and glowy and just very natural looking. So these are the Beautiful Skin Island Glow Easy Tanning Drops and that's exactly what they are. Very, very easy, very easy to personalize to the depth that you would like your tan. So you use two to four drops for a natural sunkissed glow, five to eight drops for a golden bronze glow and nine to 12 drops for a deep bronze glow. Now I don't feel it necessary to have a deep bronze glow in spring. I like something a little bit more natural on me because I don't wanna be going out and buying lots of different foundations to suit my summer skin. I like to go for something quite light. However, last night I did use five or six drops in my regular moisturizer, which was the Dr. Sam's Intense Moisturizer. And then I mixed that in with the back of my Refer 22 brush. This is the brush that I use for all of my self tanning, whether it's the face or the body. I think it's a great brush to use for that. And then I applied it with that brush all over my face, down my neck and on my chest. Woke up this morning with the most beautiful natural bronzy glow, no hint of orange whatsoever. This did not sink into any of my pores like a lot of self tanning products. So I don't have that polka dot effect all over my face. I just think it is lovely. It does still have the fragrance of a self tanner and that fragrance showed itself, I would say around about an hour after application. So you do have to put up with that, but I didn't have to put up with it for long because I popped this on just before bed and then I woke up this morning, washed my skin and the smell is nowhere to be seen <laughs> or smelled nowhere to be smelled. Even though this does include some drying alcohol within the formula, I do find it quite a hydrating formula. This is the second time I've used this. It lasts for a really good amount of time on the skin though. They say four days. I definitely got three days out of this before I was reapplying and it doesn't, it doesn't disappear in patches for me like some self tanners can. It just faded really naturally. Really like it. Really, really like it. I am impressed. Uh, that doesn't always happen with Charlotte Tilbury products, but I am really loving this one. It also has some, it's like a, a luminescent particles in here. So as soon as you apply, you're already a little bit glowy, which again, I just think he's beautiful. There are two different depths of this that you can purchase. I've gone for the fair to medium one, which is the lightest one in the range. I definitely wouldn't go any deeper than this. I just think it is lovely. I have been known to use a deep tanning mousse before and had great results from it, but it hasn't lasted as well as this. This, loving. If you don't like tanning drops or tanning mousses, you don't like anything that lasts longer than a day, this next product is really, really good. And I am shocked how much I actually like this because I thought this was going to be a disaster on me, but I bought it anyway because I'm a glutton for punishment. Luckily for me, I am because it's such a great product. This is from Glow Recipe and it's their new Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Hue Drops. This gives you a sunny, bronzy glow, again, without making you turn orange. Now, this immediately sent my mind over to the Drunk Elephant Debronzy Drops, which I know loads of people absolutely love. For me, they were a disaster because they just sent me orange and again I don't like to look orange it is not my thing even if I very sparingly applied them to my moisturizer it was just still too much for me my daughter B absolutely loves them but she's eyeing this one up now and she's not getting her mitts on it this has a slightly pinkier hue to it so although it's bronzy it's more on the pinkier edge rather than the orange really warm edge which 
I absolutely adore. It suits my skin down to the ground and it has some lovely skincare benefits in there as well. So not only is this alcohol free and contains lots of moisturizers and emollients, it's also got the antioxidants, watermelon extract, centella asiatica and vitamin E in there. So it's a soothing and moisturizing formula that's going to look after the skin. This has also got niacinamide in there to improve and brighten skin tone and and it's got the hydrating ingredients glycerin and sodium hyaluronate within the formula as well. Unlike the D-Bronzy Drops, this is a thinner, lighter, more serum-like consistency, which I personally prefer. But like the D-Bronzy Drops, you can apply this in several different ways. So you can apply this neat to the skin to give yourself that really bronzy glow, or you can apply this within your moisturizer if you're wanting something slightly more subtle, or you can mix this in with your foundation. If you've got a really matte foundation and it's looking a little flat on you, you can either wear this underneath the foundation to allow it to poke through, or mix it in with the foundation to give the foundation a little bit more life. So if you enjoy having that bronze look to the skin, but you don't want it to last for days, you just want it to last until you wash it off, then this one might be worth giving a go. I'm really loving it. I now need to hide it away from B because she will steal it. I know she will. She is sneaky. She's really sneaky. This next product is a firm new favorite. I am in love with this. I'm not a big fan of body creams. I know I should be. My mum keeps telling me I'm going to regret it as I get older. You really should look after the skin on your body and doing the job that I do. I know that is the case, but I am super lazy and I just find body creams a little bit of a faff. They go sticky on me. There's a very fine line between applying too little and applying too much. And if you apply too much, you've got to stand there like that, making sure your body doesn't touch anything while the thing dries down and it can take forever. Well, this has sorted all my problems out in that area. It's so quick, so easy, sinks into the skin effortlessly and does not leave an oily slip on the skin. It's from Nera and it's the Dry Body Oil. It is stunning. This comes in spray form, so I don't even have to squeeze any out with my hands slipping all over the place to try and get as much product on as possible after already applying some to my skin. All you need to do, take the top off, spray it directly on the skin and just massage it on. You need very little, but if you do apply too much, it's not the end of the world. You're not gonna have to stand there for ages waiting for this to dry down. It reminds me slightly of the dry body, you know, the tanning oils, yes. I did used to like the sun. Yes, I did used to use tanning oils, which is why it's so important that I look after the skin on my body now. Just, it's all in there. My skin feels hydrated. My skin feels nourished, but no stickiness, no oiliness. And the rest of it can go on the backs of the hands always. I really like this. It does come at a price, but I've been using this now for the last three weeks and hardly any is gone because you need very little. So a couple of spritz of this on the arm will do the entire arm again on the other arm. Three spritz on my legs tends to do my full leg and then I just do a couple on my chest and on my stomach and then Wes has to do my back for me. <laughs> Lucky him. <laughs> the oil that I have is unfragranced obviously. However, if you do like a fragranced body cream or body oil, they do have a fragrance version as well, which is in the fragrance Jasmine Wood. I haven't smelled that, so I can't tell you how strong it is. This is the one that I really like, and it doesn't have a smell of oils. You're not going to smell like chip fat after you've applied this. Oh, no, no, no. It, it smells of nothing. It smells of absolutely nothing. There isn't even a residual smell, a subtle, no, absolutely zero. So has a lot of natural oils in here. So let me just read these off for you. We've got cocoa caprolate, which is derived from coconut oil. We've also got sanshi inchi. We've got um, batawu, but, but, oh my goodness. What, how do you pronounce that? Batau. I think it's batau, batau fruit oil. Again, 
this is a video for a lot of corrections in the comment section. Then you've got macadamia oil, we've got jojoba seed oil, argan oil, hibiscus seed oil and rosehip oil. There's also vitamin E within here as well so it's great for hydration. There's lots of fatty acids in here as well to look after the skin barrier and make sure everything is plumped, hydrated and nourished. You're also going to get a little bit of exfoliation with this but only a tad and it is a very gentle exfoliation that is within this formula and yeah it's just full of absolutely beautiful antioxidants that support skin elasticity and firmness so multi-purpose dry body oil and I apply this just before I go to bed I have white bed sheets I have no issues whatsoever climbing into bed immediately as soon as I've applied this that's how easy quick simple it is and for me it does need to be easy quick and simple otherwise quite frankly I'm just not gonna do it Next up we've got a pop of red. Cherry red played an integral role in fashion towards the latter end of 2023 and it's really carried on through into spring 2024. There's a lot of it about red cardigans, red trousers, red bows for the hair. If you're not into wearing red so close to your face, Doing it with a flash of cherry red polish is the way to go and I absolutely love this. It just adds an element of fun to my outfit and yeah, I just really, really like it. So there are lots of cherry red nail polishes that you can go for. You don't have to go for the one that I'm wearing which is from Nails Inc and it's called West End. There are some from Barry M, there are ones from Rimmel, I absolutely swear by Barry M nail polishes and Rimmel ones are really good as well, so just find a cherry red one, I'll put my favourites for you in the description box just to guide you in the right direction, but I just think it's just really fun and flirty and girly and just, yeah, just adds a little bit something extra to an outfit, I really like it. Also love a red handbag. And I'm gonna bring you in on something here. My mom and I went shopping the other day and um, she tried on this red cardigan, which was stunning. Very Chanel-like, you know, the, the red cardigan, the two pockets, buttons down the front, just beautiful. And she looked stunning in it. And um, she wouldn't buy it. She wouldn't buy it because she'd bought enough that day and she knows her limit. So I bought it. <laughs> and wanted to give it to her. And she said in the shop, you're not buying it for me. And I said, I, I really am. <laughs> so I bought it and then she wouldn't take it from me because she's stubborn like that. So now I have this cardigan and um, I'm wondering, do I take it back or do I keep it and wear it myself? Because it's a really nice cardigan. <laughs> anyway, I might be wearing it in the next video. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section about that. I completely understand where my mum's coming from. She's She won't accept gifts from me, which is a real shame. She says I give her enough with all the, you know, the skincare and the makeup and everything, but it's an absolute pleasure of mine and my mum does so much for me. I just like to give back a little bit, but she just won't have any of it. She won't <laughs> have a word. <laughs> I've been looking after my hair a lot recently. I do pre-shampoo treatments. I've invested in a really good shampoo and conditioner. I use a lot of masks and other treatments as well. But until recently, I haven't found a leave-in conditioner that doesn't leave my hair looking heavy and flat. This one is fantastic and hallelujah, finally one that does not make me look like a drowned rat as soon as I've applied it. It's just amazing, very lightweight, extremely hydrating and nourishing and allows me to still have that body and volume in my hair that my other products will give me. I do have very fine, lifeless, limp hair to begin with, so adding another product that's too heavy for my hair or too nourishing is a big no-no for me and this is just the right level. It allows me to get a comb through my hair without snagging my hair, without pulling any of my hair out or breaking any of my hair off. This is just everything that I need in a leave-in conditioner. So not only does this have an ultra lightweight consistency that detangles my hair, it can also defrizz as well. I don't suffer with a lot of frizziness in my hair anymore since I switched up my shampoo and conditioner, but if you do suffer 
suffer with a lot of frizziness and you do have limp, lifeless hair like me, you may want to give this one a try. The kicker for me though is this is a multi-purpose product. Not only is this UV protection, it's also heat protection as well. So you don't need another product on top of this to use as your styling heat protection. A simple spritz of this through the hair, comb it through, style it, it will protect your hair against the heat that you're using and give you UV protection outside as well, which a lot of products don't do. The only thing that I'm disappointed about with this product is it does say that it's a mist and I don't think it is a mist. Some products are quite mist-like. The dry oil spray comes out in a beautiful fine mist that really does span and allow you to get the product all over the place. This one is more of a spray rather than a mist. So, you know, if you're gonna call it a mist, give me a mist, but that's the only negative I have about this product and I think it's a very small one. And finally, during spring, I'm not quite ready to ditch my full foundation and switch it to a tinted moisturizer because it's not that hot here in the UK and I do like coverage, but I do feel the need to switch it to a more lightweight formula. And that's exactly what this next product is. It's just a beautiful lightweight formula that still gives medium buildable coverage. It's a brand new product from Morphe and it's the Morphe Light Form Extended Hydration Foundation. I have been blown away by how this looks on my skin. It's just, it really is lovely. It is completely weightless and yet it has the ability to blur and smooth the appearance of my pores, which I think is just phenomenal. So this comes in 36 different shades and costs 20 pounds to buy in the UK. And honestly, I think that is a steal. If this was in different packaging, I would have no way known that this was not a high-end luxury foundation. It is that good. This is gonna give you a natural skin-like glow. Again, medium coverage it is weightless, it blurs, it smooths. The one negative for me is that I do feel that this lifts. If you touch it with something warm like your fingertips, this is going to lift on your fingertips unless you powder this in place. So as long as you have that information before you buy, if that is not for you, this one isn't going to be for you either. Even so, I do think this is a really long wearing formula. It looks very nice, very flattering on my skin for a prolonged period of time. So it's not one of those products that's really nice for three hours and then it starts to all go downhill. I have this on my skin today. I still think it looks beautiful. I powdered it first thing this morning. We are now at two o'clock in the afternoon. I've not powdered it in place since. And I just think it looks really skin-like, natural, glowy without looking like a foundation. And this doesn't feel like a foundation, but it definitely is a foundation, I mean, most definitely. I will pop this in the next foundation roundup with all of the other foundations that I've recently been testing. So you will see a full wear test on this in that future video. If you are wanting a little bit more information about this, that will all be in there. But I do think this is beautiful and perfect for spring. So that's it for my spring beauty must-haves. I just think all of these products are perfect for this time of year. Definitely perfect for me anyway. They just do something to me. They just lift my spirits, lift my mood, make me happier. Can you tell? I can't help but smile when I talk about these. They are just that good. Anyway, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know what you thought about it in the comments section. Please don't forget to like and subscribe before you leave. You will really be doing me a massive favor. It does make a difference difference. Also, please don't forget to hit the like button and the notification bell and hope to see you all in the next video. Bye everyone.